So, all right. So now let me talk to you about what I wanted to talk to you about from the beginning. Your music is amazing, bro. Um, Thank you. What 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 songs of yours are you most proud of? If you was to say a top five, because everybody like to say my top five rappers are this, that, and other. Now I'm talking about Bryson Gray. What's your top five songs that you've ever spit on, pause, you know, produce all that? So I'm just going for most recent that I could think of. And this may change in an hour. <laughs> how I'm feeling right now. I understand. Bro. Um, Burn Balenciaga. The new joint. And the reason why mm, it's not because of how well it did at all, actually. It's because when I made that beat with Don, I said, I think this is the one of the most unique beats. Like, you know, sometimes you can make something and sometimes a song just has that unique sound that can't be duplicated. Yes, yes. yes. Like when something come on, you know, sometimes a song come on and you know what it is before yes. the beat drop. In the first like, three seconds. <laughs> yeah, like back that thing up. You can't mistake back that thing up for any other song on the planet. Yes. <laughs> yes. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you know, and it's like I felt like the Burman is like a beat. I was so proud of this beat. I'm like, bro, like I stopped making beats for a while and I and not and, not, and you know what I'm saying? I made a few beats before this one. I was like, and I'm and I came back and made this with the violin. I thought it was I thought the beat was just so quick. It's like a club beat, but it's too unique to really consider that. I was like, dang, I was proud. Wow. And then like for me to make something like exposing, you know, pedophilia and stuff with Balenciaga to do that on it and it do well. It's like, oh man, to I me, mean, I was just, I, I, I was just so happy to see that hit number one. I was That's just so blessing, excited. Bro. Congratulations on Thank that you. too, man. And, Thank you. And, and for it to do that well, that means it's gotten out to so many people who need to hear that. And everybody, hopefully this starts a wave of people who, even if they don't burn their Balenciagas, they look into it and they they make some noise. They at least stop supporting. Because honestly, I probably wait until the 21st, you know, when um, you two pay a brother and go get me some Balenciagas just to burn them while I listen to your <laughs> song and Tyson James' song and, and probably make my own little... I probably do a remix on them drinks. I probably <laughs> what you think about me getting the 16 on them? Nah, never mind. Go ahead, do it. My brother. <laughs> yeah, do it. But uh <laughs> nah, bro. Like, but so that one I'm proud of. Um also I like um I can't pick a specific song from it, but but my bars for Christ mixtape I dropped recently. Like oh, Lion okay. Music, the the album I just dropped, I feel like my signing my best album I made. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I already, in my mind, not to sound cocky or anything, felt like I was capable of lying music. The Bars for Christ mixtape, I've never really hopped on these boom bap type beats with that 90 feel to it. You know what I'm saying? But I made one and got addicted to it. I had to do a whole, like, so like a mixtape. I, I feel it. like I feel like I sounded good on them joints. And then I was able to get my bars out. You know what I'm saying? So I love I, it. So I, you so I feel like I, I feel like you could be like the biggest like Trump hater in the world. If you like hip hop or understand hip hop, I feel like anybody can put on my boss of Christ mixtape and be like, I can't lie, I can't lie. Dude got bars, he can spit. You know what I'm saying? So I was super proud of that. So that's not, that's not a song, but it's an album. Hey, you know what that, you just that, now sound like? Who? You just now sound like dudes when I talk to them about um politics and they be like, I can't lie, I can't lie, but. Trump did great for this economy, bro. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's, the, that's the vibe I think the same people will hear bars for Christ and be like, hey, hey, I don't like the MAGA hat, but you know what I'm saying? And um, then I got I got to say, I got to say false teachers. Oh, uh, false teachers. I, my song, False Teachers and Kingdom at Hand, Kingdom at Hand is like a sequel to False Teachers. I feel like them songs for Christians are one of the most important songs. You know what I'm saying? You can listen to. Hey, y'all taking like notes, man. Y'all no, I need to be taking notes because only <laughs> I'm asking them this for a reason. I need y'all to go check out every single song that he's talking about and share these and all the good stuff that you do on the internet. Thank you. And then fourth, I'm gonna say my song Happy because Happy. It it felt so good to make a pop song. I used to make pop music a lot, but then I was like, everybody wanna hear me rap aggressively, so there's no point in even trying to like branch out. Cause I, I like all types of music. When I made happy, it actually did good. It's actually on my top five on Spotify. I said, yo, thank y'all. Sometimes, you know, as artists, depending on the type of artist you are, as an artist, I like making all types of music because I always have. But sometimes you can feel like you are in a box. 
Yeah. Like nobody's pitting you in it, but you feel like you are in it because people are probably used to a certain vibe. You know what I'm saying? Right. But I made happy and it did well. I'm like, yo, man, because I love listening to like you know certain pop That's songs. What's up. So happy. That's what's and up. And then I have to say, and I'm gonna pick two songs and one on this last one. And one of them, I don't even like the song like that. And this, this is gonna be crazy. But Trump is a president and gun to Patriot. Gun because Tone Patriot, that joint great. Yeah, I didn't hear Trump as your president, but I heard Gun Tone Patriot. That joint go. Yeah, so so you ain't heard it's like Donald Trump is your president if you like it or not. Yeah, Keep the energy you had with Barack. Yeah, yeah. that one. It's funny because I don't even like that song. Like, yeah, that. but it's still yeah. my most popular one. But them two because Gun Tote Patriot, bro, is one of the hardest performance. Is one of the best performance songs ever. But every time I perform that joint, just the energy in the crowd, we everybody's jumping up and down. It's like. It's like a euphoric state I'm in when I perform Gun Tone and Patriot, bro. And I feel like that's like a, I like that's an anthem that can always last. Like even like past just politics, or just somebody that cares about the country and believe in God. You know, I feel like that's a song that can, that can like transcend everything. And you Trump know what, president, you know even what though I, I don't you? like it. Even no, though no, I don't no, like no. I apologize. I couldn't hear you because I ain't got on my um, headphones. I'm sorry. I don't want to cut you, you off. Now you get what you say? No, I was saying that song right there surprised the hell out of me because I was like, wow, we can actually walk around with guns as black men and be legal doing it. Yes, sir. Like, that's the joint that um, Officer Tatum was on the video with you, right? Yep. And that's the joint I reacted to. That yep. That's the one I react to. Yeah. Yep. I remember that joint. Yeah, that joint go in. Yeah, was... bro, that one. Yeah, I then Trump is the president, <laughs> even though I don't like the song like that. Maybe I don't like it because of like I don't know, you just hear it too many, too many times. But I heard Got to a Patriot a million times. I never get tired of it. But Trump as the president is because that was the one that like it just it just went crazy. It just it just it just picked up steam and went crazy. Like that's the one that really changed everything for me. Like when Trump retweeted MAGA Boy, it my song MAGA Boy, it was crazy, right? That changed things for me. Hold on, wait, 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 what? Trump retweeted one of your songs? So so I started something called the MAGA Challenge. So th this is when my music started really going viral. I started something called the MAGA Challenge, but I made a song called MAGA Boy, and I left an open space for it, and I wanted Trump supporters, like, even if you couldn't rap, who gives a crap? Just have fun. I wanted, like, have fun in a cultural way, rather than, rather than conservatives always being uptight. And it went viral. Everybody was doing their videos, doing their verses to the songs. Some of it was offbeat. Some of it was cringy, but it's like it's just people having fun. Jimmy right. Kimmel talked about it. I know it went viral. Then Trump wow. retweeted it. Trump retweeted it, bro. Ended up getting like three million views on Twitter. Oh man, it was it was it was so crazy, bro. And wow. uh yes, so that started everything with the music. But Trump is a president, it went viral on TikTok. Like before TikTok banned Trump as a president, it ended up it ended up having like a 250,000 people did a video to it. Wow. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. When Lil when Lil Pump came out as a Trump supporter, he used my song to do it. You know what I'm saying? So so I thought it was like I said, yo, like that song like really changed everything on a different on a different level. Like a Trump cosign is huge, but if you get a song to go viral on TikTok, like really viral. That's a different ball game that even Trump can't compete with. So Trump is a president because it, it changed everything. Let me tell you something, bro. You, you, you ever thought you was, that you might be a genius for real? I mean, I'm serious. Nah, bro. I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, first of all, like, no, 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 like don't call me no genius. Don't got that gonna call me no genius. These people gonna start <laughs> attacking me. <laughs> You're not scared of being attacked, so I know that. Let me ask you oh, this, yeah, bro. I don't care about that. 